Welcome to another inspiring Bible study session with Verse Visionaries. Today we dive into 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, a verse that offers profound encouragement and guidance for believers. Join us as we explore how this powerful scripture can transform our lives, instilling in us a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. Context of 2 Timothy To fully grasp the depth of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, it's essential to understand the context in which it was written. The Apostle Paul penned this letter to Timothy, his beloved disciple, during his final imprisonment in Rome. Facing imminent execution, Paul used this epistle to encourage and strengthen Timothy, who was facing persecution and challenges in his ministry. Paul's words were meant to bolster Timothy's faith, reminding him of the divine gifts and calling bestowed upon him. Paul begins this verse by stating, For God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. This statement sets the tone for understanding our spiritual identity. Fear is not from God, instead, He endows us with a spirit characterized by power, love, and self-control. Recognizing this truth helps us to reject fear and embrace the divine qualities that God has imparted to us. Spirit of Power The first attribute mentioned is power. This power comes from the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, enabling us to overcome obstacles, perform God's will, and stand firm in our faith. Biblical power is not about dominance but about the strength to endure, to witness boldly, and to serve others selflessly. Examples of this power are seen throughout the Acts of the Apostles, where believers performed miracles, preached fearlessly, and endured persecution with unwavering faith. Spirit of Love The second attribute is love. This love is a divine love, the highest form of love that reflects God's unconditional love for us. It is selfless, sacrificial, and seeks the well-being of others. The spirit of love empowers us to love our neighbors as ourselves, to forgive those who wrong us, and to serve others with compassion and kindness. Love is the hallmark of a true disciple of Christ, as Jesus himself stated. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. John 13 verse 35 Spirit of Self-Discipline The third attribute is self-discipline, also referred to as self-control or a sound mind. This involves having a disciplined life, marked by wise and prudent decision-making. Self-discipline enables us to control our desires, resist temptations, and live a life that is pleasing to God. It involves the daily practice of spiritual disciplines such as prayer, Bible study, and fasting. Self-discipline is crucial for spiritual growth and maturity, helping us to remain steadfast in our faith journey. Practical Applications Understanding 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 should lead us to practical applications in our daily lives. Embracing the spirit of power means relying on God's strength in times of weakness and stepping out in faith to fulfill His purposes. Living in the spirit of love involves showing kindness and compassion even to those who may be difficult to love. Exercising self-discipline requires intentional effort to align our thoughts, actions, and habits with God's word. Overcoming Fear a key takeaway from this verse is the call to overcome fear. Fear can paralyze us, hinder our spiritual growth, and prevent us from fulfilling God's calling. By recognizing that fear does not come from God, we can confront and conquer it through the power, love, and self-discipline that He provides. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. 
Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. This verse reinforces this truth, encouraging us to trust in God's presence and support. As we conclude this segment, let's reflect on the transformative power of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 in our lives. It challenges us to reject fear and embrace the spirit of power, love, and self-discipline that God has given us. By living out these divine attributes, we can overcome challenges, grow in our faith, and make a positive impact on the world around us. May God's power, love, and self-discipline be evident in your life. Amen.